What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Knuckles from Sonic Boom. Let's begin today's lesson at the top center of our page and draw a small oval for the nose. We're going to start right in the middle, all the way around towards the bottom, and back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight oval along the top of the nose, and we'll fill the bottom area in black. Now from here we're going to curve the top of the muzzle above the nose. So we'll start over on the left, and this up, and then back down. Let's curve the muzzle, going around and then up towards the cheeks on either side. Now you're going to round up the cheeks, coming around and then in. And we'll close out the bottom, starting on the left. Come down the middle, just round this out and then pull it back up on the right side. Let's shift the mouth over towards the right side. So we're going to start from the top, then it's down, and then in. And I'll add a bracket on the end. Now with the muzzle in place, we're going to draw the top edge of the brow. We're going to start right in the middle of the straight line going up. Now we're going to move out to the side, bend the brow going out, and then up towards the left. Round out the brow and then pull that out. Now I want to raise up the right brow. So we're going to step over, curl those out, just pull that up a little bit higher, and then bend that around, and then out towards the right. Let's draw the side of the eyes. On the outside of the brow, we're going to step in, curl the eye coming around, and then in on top of the muzzle. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Now from here, I'm going to pull the eyes towards the inside. Let's start from the top left with a half oval, coming down, and then up. Let's line this up on the right, coming around towards the bottom, go up, and then in underneath the brow. Let's trace the iris along the inside with a smaller oval. Then we'll add a small highlight curve along the top of the pupil and it'll fill the bottom of the pupil in black. Now you want to enhance the top of the brow. So I'm leaving a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left, then it's up, and then out. Go to the right. Again, just raising this up a little bit higher, and then out. Now from here, we're going to draw those two extensions along the side of the head. On the outside of the brow, let's step down, curl this down and in towards the cheek, then that down, and then curl that out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start from the top, step down, come down and in towards the cheek, round this out, and go back out. Now you want to draw the outside so these extensions get thicker as you go up towards the top. So let's start on the bottom left, start to go a little bit thicker as you go out around the head, go up, and then just bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up, go out, and then bend that in. Now we're going to come back and finish off the head after you've drawn in the body. Let's start with that detail in the center, starting on the left, curl this down, and then up. Let's go back to the left side, we're going to come down a little bit lower in the middle, and then bend that back up. Now we're going to draw the side of the body in behind these extensions. Let's start over on the left, come down and in, I'm just going to bend that back down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right. Come down and in, and then back down towards the same height. Let's go in between the hips, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Now you want to leave a gap in the center, move over towards the left, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the left ankle, move over towards the right, go down and then out. Let's round up the hips and draw that same angled line coming down. Come down, and just go out towards the ball. Let's do the same thing on the right. Rounding up the hip, come down, and then out. Now from here, we're going to fold the cuff on top of the ankles. On the left side, let's step out, curl this down, and then up. and then we'll wrap the cuff along the outside. So we're going to step up, go all the way around, and then in. And 
Let's draw the bottom of the cup. We're gonna step out, come around, in, and just tuck that up on the inside. Let's go to the inside of the cup, curl the heel, come in, and then down toward the bottom of the feet. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Start from the left heel, curl the foot, coming down. I'm just gonna bend that up toward the outside. Now from the outside of the foot, let's go up and just bend that in towards the outside of the cuff. Now we're going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. Let's take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel. Let's add a toe cap, curving in and then down. Now halfway along this curve, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming up and in underneath the cuff. And it'll separate that top area in half with another curve. Let's add some texture along the inside. Starting from the toe cap, step out, draw another curve. From the bottom, taper this up, and back down, and move over, add one curve and go up toward the top of the heel. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Stepping in, come down, up, down toward the bottom, step in, curve this up, and in towards the heel. Now we're gonna add those bumps on top of the toe cap. Starting right in the middle, start with a circle, And then the second bump will sit along the outside. So you can draw a half circle. Let's add those wraps across the legs. Starting on the left, bend this down and then up. Let's line this up on the right side. Now similar to the inside of the foot, we're gonna add that same texture across these wraps. So let's start by stepping down, add one curve going across. From the inside, come down and out. In, then once more, come down and then out towards the bottom. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. From the top of the body on the left, let's step down, curl the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Let's line this up on the right. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw a half circle coming in and then out for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now underneath the thumb, let's curve the hand. Coming down, go all the way around, and then up towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, let's curve the arm, going up, bend the arm, coming in behind the head. Let's add those two spikes across the knuckle. We're gonna start on the inside. We're gonna come down and up. Let's leave a gap and draw one more. Coming down and then up. Now from the wrist, we're gonna step up and add the top of the wrap. Start with a curve going up and then out. Let's move up and draw another curve, going up and out. And we'll step up from the outside and just bend this in and then down. Let's add that same texture across the bottom of the arms. We'll step down, start with that first curve. From the inside, go out, just tapering this towards the side. Pull this in towards the inside of the wrist. Now connect the inside of the wrist to the outside with another curve. Let's go back down to the bracket, curve this out and then up. Let's 
go to the top of the thumb, and it's out, and then down towards that line. Step out and draw that again. Let's add one more wrap. Bring down and then out from that bracket. Let's add some texture along the top wrap. Start from this point, then it's in and then down. And then about halfway, come in and then down towards the bottom corner of the wrap. Now with the arms in place, let's go back and finish off the head. From the left side, let's step out, go up. Now I'm just gonna bend this in towards the top of the head. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Right up, and then bending that in. Now let's close off the top of the head with a curve. So I'm gonna round up the sides, go up in the middle, go across, and then back to down. Now these back extensions are going to come down in behind the arms. So let's start back over on the left, come down and in, and then just taper that back up. And now we're going to add the tail over on the left side. Let's start from the hip, draw a straight angle line coming down, go up and out. Now we're just going to bend the end of the tail going out and then down. I just want to trace the tail coming back in towards the body. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Knuckles from Sonic Boom. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, then please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then click on this video right over here and I'll see you again soon.